My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Welcome to my channel. Appreciate everybody watching, liking, subscribing. Uh, please hit the bell, comment below, leave your uh, Bitcoin Ethereum address. I'm um, still doing the cold storage coin giveaway for a big, uh, Bitcoin or an Ethereum one like this one. Uh, let's see, see the Bitcoin one. Here's the Bitcoin one as well. You can see that. Um, cool coins. Uh, they last uh, up to five years guaranteed. And uh, you can just store it up somewhere. You know, now that everything's going up in price, um, you know, I, I even actually use mine right now. And I just put I just keep putting money on it uh, or Bitcoin or Ethereum on it. And then I'm just going to put it somewhere. And that way I don't get tempted to use it. I mean, that's kind of what the great thing about these are, is that once you put it on here, you don't want to take it off because you have to put your public key on a hot wallet. And then now, now it's not uh, a private key on a hot wallet. So, you know, then it's done. You don't want to keep using this coin and you know, keep putting money on it because now your private keys online. So once you use it, it's done. That's why I just put money on it and then I set it and forget it basically at that point. So you know, moving forward into the uh, crypto uh, market cap here, 293 billion right now. Um, you know, Bitcoin went up to 7,300. Our volume is up to almost 6 billion right now. I mean, can't, can't look any better than this right now. Um, you know, hopefully it stays that way. You know, 24 hour uh, changers, sorry, Decentraland, 25%, Power Ledger, 23%, Zencash, 20%, Stratus, 20%. So the pricing is looking good. Their volumes are starting to look much better. Um, you know, morale is up and it's, you know, just kind of seems like when it comes to uh, the market, you know, and this uh, news article says, uh, 20 billion in 30 minutes as Bitcoin spikes to 7,400. 7, you know, normally when we have an elephant walk like this, it walk like this, it, it goes up, it goes up in 30 minutes to an hour to two hours, and it's up. So this is just kind of saying, uh, kind of what I was just saying too, is the strong volume momentum's building. As long as it's going to keep that volume, and then you have the RSI and MACD backing up that volume then we're going to keep going up on a um, upward trend here, I think, um, you know, because we're just we're into a storm right now with the Ichimoku cloud. Um, you know, let's look that at that real quick. Um, kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Move that into an hour chart real quick. And. Yeah, no, it's today chart. There we go. So there's that Ichimoku cloud that I talked about in my last video, which was like four or five days ago. Um, but this Ichimoku cloud, you know, normally, like we said, it, it doesn't want to storm weather through a storm like this because it's usually going down. And I, even on this upward trend, look, there's no storm to weather through. So it cut right through it, you know, uh, pretty easily on that. And then, it, you know, obviously went down. Now we're going straight through a storm. You know, whenever we haven't seen this, um, we haven't seen this at all when it comes to Bitcoin on a day chart. Um, <coughs> excuse me, for long term. So, uh, you know, long term, uh, you know, hold or long term gains, long term macro trading, so on and so forth. So this is a good sign. It gets up over this and like everybody's kind of saying, oh, the 8,000 is going to be it. They're kind of right. You know, we'd say 7,600 to 8,000, I think, is going to be our uh, the next, uh, let's say, five to six days is going to be the make it or break it. Um, on considered, quote unquote, the upward trend. So we shall see when it comes to that. Um, you know, that other indicator that I was, you know, sh that you were looking at before I changed it was actual the, um, this is the bot indicator uses for, uh, um, for trading. And it's the Bollinger Band. <coughs> the low BB and the high BB for the bot indicator. And, uh, you know, I changed it, but, you know, now it's changed back. But this is what Profit Trailer actually work, uh, works off of with trading view. So, um, you know, it, it's just kind of one of those things where, um, you know, if you look at my affiliate links, I have trading view in there. You know, I have all kinds of things that I use that I use coin tracking um, and they all work with Profit Trailer and all and pretty much all bots, um, but especially with with uh, Profit Trailer. So it's actually a, a plus. Um, when it comes to um, working with the bots and TradingView. Uh, you know, you get to know TradingView a lot more. You get to know a lot more of these indicators and uh, what they mean and, and actually how they actually work. 
um, incongruent with everything else, so on and so forth. So, um, you know, and I'll keep you guys uh, posted on my configurations with the profit trailer and how I'm getting to these um, configurations through these chartings, you know, and that's this is what I've been doing for the past well, week or two. So I apologize. I haven't made a video in, you know, four or five days, but, um, you know, got to get things done. You know, I had some issues at work and uh, now I'm back. So I'm going to be making a video every day now uh, until I have another, you know, uh, uh, hiccup in my schedule. So this is going over the uh, what to expect when Congress talks about crypto. So tomorrow they're talking about crypto. They're holding a uh, committee meeting and they're going to be going over um, the House Committee of Agriculture will focus on the emergence of digital assets while the Financial Policy Subcommittee hearing will examine the extent to which the United States government should consider cryptocurrencies as money as previously reported. So you know, again, this is just uh, they're going to go over and they're going to basically say, is it money? Is Are we going to consider cryptocurrency a money or is it just still considered a uh, intangible asset, tangible property? Uh, and, you know, the House Committee of, on Agriculture, obviously, they see um, the value of blockchain. You know, it's like farm, to, you know, farm to a table um, things. You know, you can now trace every single apple and every single, you know, thing that comes off the farm. Um, so blockchain is very, very, um, you know, uh, valuable to them. It's the actual focus of a digital asset, you know, the, the coin itself. What can they do with coins? So if they consider it money, overall, the United States government considers it money, it may be a better step or, uh, for the agricultural world to, um, you know, this goes mainstream. You know, they can then, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, by the board be assimilated in the cryptocurrency world um, but yeah we have to kind of you know tweak our things to, to open the doors up a little bit for everybody so uh, but this is just kind of what this is saying on here on that so by contrast the financial services hearing seems to be tackling a broader question of what cryptocurrencies are exactly according to a memo detailing the hearings goals members will evaluate the merits of any uses by central banks of cryptocurrencies and discuss the future of both cryptocurrencies and physical cash. So now they're going to be looking at the merits of any uses by central banks of cryptocurrencies. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? You know, let's move forward to the next one here and I'll kind of get into that a little bit more. So IBM is experimenting with a cryptocurrency that's pegged to the US dollar. Is it Tether? No, it's not Tether. It's another one. And guess what it's called? Stronghold USA is the cryptocurrency backed by Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation insured US dollars. What IBM said it will experiment with, uh, with the virtual greenback, is exploring ways of helping banks. So as I was saying before, you know, they, they're, um, the government's going to look at um, cryptocurrencies that are helping financial institutions and banks. And Stronghold USD is doing that just as much as Tether is. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I don't think it's a good thing. Um, stable coins, you know, obviously it does reduce volatility, but it also reduces your your profitability as well. That's the whole point of maybe having, you know, of having volatility. Again, we're just in the Wild West. That's why there's so much volatility. But, you know, we'll smooth out eventually. But having a flatline coin is not a stable coin. It is a flatline coin. Uh, you know, get, you know, to have the definitions right here. Stable coins is like a stock. A stable stock still goes up and down like Apple stock. It's a stable stock, but it goes up and down. And people make money on it, you know, left and right um, based on, you know, the stock market. So it's not a stable coin. It's a flat line coin. You know? So it's kind of they're, they're basing it on the wrong assumptions of what things are. Or maybe they're just trying to confuse everybody and slide these uh, flat line coins through to uh, kind of ruin the crypto market. Um, like I said, you know, in the stock market, you're not going to see a flat line stock doesn't survive it, it dies so why are we using these because it's an out when we use these things for an out it's it's not a good thing overall for everybody and the market uh, it's, it's good for short-term plays but you're you're really helping out the big guys and not the little guys so they're just kind of saying that because tethers have you know so many problems as a well-known stable coin they're looking into another stable coin that is very much backed by insured u.s dollars Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. So backed by an insurance corporation, that's definitely backed by money. 
So that, that's kind of when I wanted to put the two together here when it comes to the um, what they're looking for as, the, as far as the, the uh, government is looking for to evaluate the merits of any uses of central banks. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? You know, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, please make your own decisions, but I don't think it's a good thing at all. So uh, moving forward here, everybody knows this. Coinbase is exploring support for Cardano, um, BAT, Stellar, Zcash, and Zero X. So what I kind of wanted to get into this for was um, was Stellar. Uh, you know, this IBM thing kind of segueing into that too as well. This IBM, um, they wanted to open up their blockchain um, based on the Stellar blockchain. So, you know, if they're going into banking and they want to use the Stellar um, uh, algorithm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, you know, not ERC-20 to token, obviously, but it's a Stellar um, algorithm. It, you know, if they want to use that and, and, they're, and then IBM's going to pick it up and then the banks are going to pick it up, but Coinbase is definitely going to pick it up. So that's kind of what I wanted to press on with Stellar especially with Stellar. Uh, I, I just think that if Coinbase is going to be picking out of, you know, ADA, BAT, you know, Stellar, Zcash, or Zero X, um, I, I would assume that they're going to probably do um, the ETC first because Ethereum Classic is an ERC-20 token that's pretty much based on the Ethereum. And then they're going to be moving forward into probably other ERC-20 tokens. And then who gets it after that is the question. Is it going to be ADA? Bat Stellar, well, I, I got a feeling Stellar is going to be, uh, you know, he, uh, if IBM and the banks and everybody starts taking on blockchain uh, Stellar um, algorithm, it, it's going to be the next one um, after ERC twenty tokens, uh, you know, whether it be Ethereum Classic or another ERC twenty token coming out the way. So, last but not least. Crypto Fear and Greed Index, we're at 39 today from 36 yesterday and last week at 29. So great to see, you know, the morality of everything going up, the news, everything in the news is more way more positive than negative. Um, you know, we all see these things about, I uh, can't remember what it was called, Black Stock or Black Dock or Black Jock or something like that. Um, they, they now have a, a criminal cryptocurrency team and they, you know, they're going to be uh, jumping on board too so um just good things to see in the market all you know overall so uh, my name is crypto dog to the rescue again please like subscribe still doing the 100 and 150 subscriber giveaway so leave your address ethereum bitcoin below and uh, i'll be picking a winner uh, so uh, keep keep up the grind have a great night